Good morning. It's Tuesday, April 26, 2022. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for your journey today. Our devotion today is entitled, Resting in Peace. In our scripture is Isaiah chapter 57. For those who follow godly paths will rest in peace when they die. R.I.P. Rest in Peace on a Gravestone carries many messages. Was it a hard life that now has no problems? Some would say a body in a tomb is problematic. Does the message convey doubt over whether the departed had unfinished business and wouldn't rest in peace? Who indeed could manage to handle all of life's errors and omissions in the cleanup phase of one's life? Yet Isaiah says that godly paths is the route to resting in that place of peace when your days are done. Possibly the meaning of godly paths is what another prophet Micah said about the Lord's requiring us to walk the path of doing justice, loving mercy, and walking humbly with God. Without doubt, caring for family is part of that trifold formula. My friend and colleague Bill cared for his aged and dying father for many months. On the night before his death, the disturbance from the other end of the house caused Bill to look in on his dad. A nightmare had awakened the old man, and when Bill came into the room, his father looked straight at him and asked, Are you all right? Bill assured him he was fine, and his dad drifted right back off to sleep. A few minutes later, he stopped breathing. Hanging on until the assurance your work is completed here on earth is not overrated. Rather, it's assurance in two directions. There's comfort for the one who's dying, which allows passing peacefully, as well as comfort for those left behind that you were loved, and the story isn't over. Frankly, it's an anchor memory. I had that kind of personal experience with Ruby and her three dachshunds. Cookie was the mama, a sleek, graying 17-year-old, with her two pups, Flip and Jerry, brother and sister, still in great health and vitality at 15. Ruby was not in good health at all. She lived alone for many years before she died. Those three wiener dogs were her family. When Ruby sensed her time was coming, she called me to her home for a quote-unquote chat. It was something of an ambush of the -the wet-behind-the-ears new pastor. Ruby put on that face that said, Take pity on a poor widow preacher. Well, Russell, the easy mark he is, caved and promised to take care of the herd of hot dog dogs. Having finished her last bit of earthly stewardship, Ruby Lures slipped into Jesus' arms a few days later. That was in 1983. After 40 years of retrospect, I can say that Ruby had a lot to do with teaching me the kind of pastoral care I wish I had been better at, making sure, as Bill's dad demonstrated, that even in the dying process, we can extend the grace God has shown us and entrusted to our care by simple, open transfer of love. For you today. When all is said and done, it isn't the size of the bank account or the magnificence of an estate you might leave to loved ones, but dwelling on what will express care for that which is meaningful, hands-on caring to alleviate suffering in this life, and hearts-on caring for the soul for all eternity. That's the very definition of walking humbly with your God. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.